Hey everybody, Johnny B. Good here, located still in Virginia. I managed to uh, drop and hook in Mount Crawford, uh, Virginia. Nothing to it. And uh, my preloaded trailer was actually preloaded. So when I got there, all I did was sign for the bills, drop a hook on the trailer, got down about 30 40 miles got me some fuel over there at the Petro in Rafine Virginia and now I'm on my way to Milwaukee Wisconsin today is July 23rd uh, 2013 and the local time here in Virginia is 1 uh, 1:14 a.m and my total distance to my first delivery is 750 miles now right now I have enough hours to uh, drive for at least 300 more miles but the goal right now is just to drive at least another 150 miles that way all I got to do is drive 600 miles tomorrow as uh, if you guys always remember or remember remember me emphasizing all the time that uh, I can only drive about 630 miles and that's that's even a little bit tight so I'm gonna make it for 600 miles that way I got a lot of time and leeway uh, that way I will definitely make it there on on time because if I quit now and drive uh, 630 miles tomorrow I'll have to take a 10 hour break somewhere uh, around Indiana and if I do that then I won't make it to my uh, delivery appointment which is on the 24th at 5 a.m. I know it's a little complicated and it's a lot more complicated for somebody who does not uh, does not know how to explain it but uh, right now we're climbing a hill and I'm doing 45 miles an hour on night gear fortunately this load only weighs uh, the payload only weighs 25,000 pounds and I did not even bother to scale it it's I've been looking at my gauges here and they're roughly okay so it'll be okay but once again I've got another 148 miles to go before I can call it a night and I'll drive the rest of it tomorrow I hope the light is enough for you guys to see the the darkness out there it's a little foggy it's been raining on and off uh, over here in Virginia now I'm not exactly sure where 148 miles will put me uh, I think somewhere in Ohio maybe or quite possibly will put me in Charleston West Virginia I wouldn't mind making it all the way to the travel centers of America in Hurricane West Virginia that would be that would be an ideal place to shut down and do a 10 hour break the only problem is that place is so jam packed at night if you're not parking that place by 6 o'clock at night you might as well just keep on going because the parking slot in that thing is, is really small and real tight and uh, 
but we'll we'll find somewhere somehow to park this thing and uh, go to bed I don't know if you can hear the little warning engine warning doorbell kind of a sound there but it's been going on and on and off on and on and on mostly on it's the uh, low oil sensor it's telling the sensor and the computer and me that it's got a low oil and trust me I've looked at that uh, dipstick uh, many many times and it's well above the uh, full line so I'm gonna have to take this to the dealership or to our terminal and have them recalibrate uh, the sensor or possibly change it but uh, I have to drive all night long and all day long like this it's driving me nuts but I guess the purpose of this video is I just wanted you guys to see what night driving is like and uh, I've never really used this camera at night anyway so I wanted to see if it works or not right now I'm using my high beams I apologize for that car in front of us here I'll turn it off I don't know if that will be bright enough or not I don't think so so uh, right now uh, we're in Virginia and it should be there's a mile marker here mile marker 37 so that means I'm 37 miles away to the West Virginia state line remember a couple of videos ago I told you guys I'm on highway 64 or NHA 64 now that's an uh, even number all even number interstate in the United States runs east and west and is if you go west the number the mile marker gets smaller so whatever, whatever mile marker you're, you're at and if you go on west it'll get smaller and it will also tell you how far you are to the state line of the next state So that's it for now. Um, got my coffee. By the way, I went to Walmart today. After 24 hours of peanut butter and bread over there in Pottsville, I made it a point to go to Walmart and get me some, got me plenty of bananas, plenty of bread, uh, apples oh no I forgot the apple oh dear but I did get some peaches and I uh, got some cherries and coffee I ran out of coffee uh, darn I forgot the apples so anyway I'm all coffeeed up today tonight and I guess that's about it. Good night, everybody. We'll catch you tomorrow. Johnny, be good here. Peace.